Today we're doing broken glass cupcakes, starting off with two cups of water in a large saucepan over medium high heat. I found this recipe in a book called A Zombie Ate My Cupcake by Lily Vanilli, and I'll put a link in the description box where I found the book if you want to go check it out. Then to the water add one cup of white corn syrup. And then three and a half cups of white granulated sugar. Finally add one quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. Now what the cream of tartar does is it helps keep the candy glass nice and clear and it keeps the sugar mixture from crystallizing too quickly when it's cooling. Is it absolutely necessary? Probably not. Now you're going to stir this until the mixture starts to boil just so that all the sugar has a chance to dissolve and doesn't get stuck to the bottom of the pan. Once it starts to boil, however, you don't have to stir it anymore. You're going to boil this until the mixture reaches 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 150 degrees Celsius. Now, in order to do this, I'm using a candy thermometer. Candy thermometers are nice because they sit right in the mixture. Uh, the thermometers are submersible. You can put them in the water afterwards to clean them off. Now, if you don't have a candy thermometer, you need to reach the hard crack stage. And I will put a link in the description box to a candy making website where you can see what the hard crack stage looks like and how you can manage to get to that point. It seems to take forever to get past 225, but once it does, it'll start to rise very quickly. It does take about 15 or 20 minutes though to get to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So you have to be a little bit patient. You'll notice that the mixture will get thick and it won't steam as much. And once it reaches 300, the thermometer will move very quickly, so keep an eye on it. Once it gets to 300, then you're going to pour it into a prepared dish. I'm using a cookie sheet that's been lined with aluminum foil, and the aluminum foil has been greased with cooking spray. I'm pouring half the mixture on one tray, and I put half the mixture on the other tray, because I was making another project with it that you'll see later this month. Then, once it's cooled completely, Take the foil out of the pan, peel it back a little bit, and there is your candy glass, and you're ready to break it. Now, I'm going to use a meat mallet to do this, and just give it a firm tap, and it should break nicely into nice pointy shards of candy glass. My glass ended up a little bit yellow, and I think I may have overcooked it a little bit past 300, and that's caused some of that sugar to caramelize a little bit, but it still looks pretty good. Now, what I would suggest is instead of Pound, uh, breaking it in the middle, I would maybe do in four quadrants. So I would do four hits instead of one big one and then a couple little ones. However, the glass, the candy glass did break quite nicely into shards, as you can see. And these are perfect to stick into our cupcakes. These are plain cupcakes that have iced in white frosting. I will put a link in the description box to my bright white frosting recipe and then just take one of the glass shards and poke it into the cupcake. Now to make it look like the cupcakes have been stabbed and they are bleeding we're going to use something red. Now I'm using this is raspberry dessert sauce that I bought at the grocery store. You could use raspberry jam, strawberry jam or even corn syrup that's been tinted with a little bit of red food coloring as well. There are a number of edible fake blood recipes out there on the internet if you want to go do a search. So put some around the base of the shard of glass and you can even put a little bit going up the side of the glass piece. And just do that with each of the cupcakes. Now people are going to ask me how you eat these. Well I would suggest is you pull the candy glass out of the cupcake, eat the cupcake and then you can nibble on the candy glass if you'd like. The candy glass tastes like well, pretty much just like sugar because that's what it's made of. Um, it's, it is kind of interesting to crunch on it, however. It's like eating a candy lollipop or a sucker. And there are the completed cupcakes. What you need to know about this glass, however, is that it gets super sticky after about 24 hours because it does absorb a lot of moisture from the atmosphere. So if you're going to make this candy glass, you need to serve it the same day or it'll get very, very sticky. I think these would look really good at a Halloween party dessert table. 
And what I did is I added some more of the broken pieces around the base of the cupcakes on the serving platter and added a couple little blood drops. So broken glass cupcakes, give them a try.